Hold on, Robbie. I think I saw a shooting star. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me see if I can find where it went. It's like somewhere to the north. Can I see its landing site? I don't know if it will have sent up the beam of light, unfortunately. Hi, Hearth. Oh. I told Pura about what's happened at the village without your guidance. I don't think Tulin would have matured so much. <laughs> Despite everything, yeah. We're protecting the skies and checking out the Sky Islands. There. Um, I don't see where the star fragment might have landed. So, yes, please produce two of them. Energy well times two! I now have uh, two thirds of a battery. I would enjoy further visits from you. Is there any chance I could get that thing? I don't know where it fell exactly. Oh man. Okay, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. That star is dead to me. Once again, just like all the other shooting stars I have seen, I just don't know where it ended up exactly. It's kind of hard to hunt them down if you don't get the light beam to show up. Anyways, Robbie wanted to talk to me. I really appreciate you fixing up my balloon. Right. Should go have a good think about all the practical uses. Oh, that reminds me. Listen up. Now that Josh has solved the mystery of that slate, I can return to the Pyropad Laboratory in Hateno Village. If you go there, I can make even more improvements to your Pyropad, starting with the sensor. You'll find the lab in East Nakluda, yes. Go a bit farther and you'll see a mighty peculiar place. Don't let the looks fool you, it's a cutting edge lab. See you in Hateno Village, don't keep me waiting. Well, that will be my next target, cause... Kind of been wanting to go there anyways. Let's not walk into the pit. Hestu, what are you doing? Yeah. There's a shop here, huh? Yeah. I smell court. Yeah, um, I just wanted to see what you were up to, but I think you were just admiring the shop. Um, I mean. The soldier armor is definitively better, but I do like having the clothes anyways. So, uh... Mm. I'll buy the pants. And I'll buy the hood. But that's all I'm gonna buy for now. Actually, I don't think I can afford this one anyways, although I'd only have to sell like one thing to buy it, but I'll just hold off for now. Um, I would like my horse, because I'll be sitting out to... Uh, wait, hold on. I mean, this is just closer, but where's the nearest stable? Is it just this one? Well, it's not exceptionally close, but I did leave that Korok hanging around, so I guess I'll just go over there and help this stupid little guy and 
Go to Hateno Village. Uh, hello? Look at them all! You attract birds? Hey, partner, get a good night's sleep? Oh, actually, hold that thought. We don't have time to squawk right now. Oh. I got a very interesting lead about our missing princess. We could have a pretty huge story here. Sounds as if one night a while back, and I'm not sure how far Princess Zelda borrowed the stable's farm tools. Mm. That's a bit unusual. Why would our princess need farm tools? But the story has another odd twist. She promised to return them and didn't. Now, this all might seem trivial. She's a busy princess, after all. Still, these are strange times, so I got to thinking. Only weapons decayed during the upheaval. Maybe the princess was in desperate need of tools for... Wait, Pen, hold on. You've gotten ahead of yourself. We need to gather the facts. When, what, where, who. Let's start at the beginning. I heard that a man named Isra lent her the tools. He's right around here. Watches over the stable's raft, I heard. Let's get to work, partner. Okay. Oh. Sorry, I'm a little busy right now. Oh, I was wondering when you guys would show up. You work with Penn from the newspaper, right? I didn't want this to get out because I didn't want people to think I'm saying bad things about Princess Zelda, but she borrowed our stable's farm tools and hasn't given them back. Ah. It was a long time ago, but I do remember that she said she needed them for something at Florit Sandbar. It's around the river bend and then a good distance after that. Ah. I'd take the raft there myself, but after all that stuff fell from the sky, I'm having a hard time getting down the river. So you might say I'm in a bit of a bind. I know we could clear up this mess if someone could take me downriver to floor at Sandbar on the raft. I mean, I'll do it. Nope. Absolutely not. Okay, well you can stay there for a second. No, I didn't want to rotate it. I just wanted to move it. Oh okay, I think I only have one of these, so let's not attach it there. Come on, stop falling into the water. It's embarrassing, Link. I still don't technically know what this is. I think it might be important. I think it might be what gets us to actually move. Do you want to get in the boat? Yeah, yeah, I'll do that. Okay. How far away is this florid sandbar anyways? Is it just this one? It's just a bit of a river cruise, I guess. Past those ruins. Which ruins? I don't see any ruins. Are there ruins over there? Straight down river, okay. Mm 
Well, how have you been, sir? Okay, we'll just gently drift there. Oh. Woohoo, we made it. Ah. You did a great job getting us here. Where'd you learn how to handle a raft like that? Oh, this is my first time doing it. I thought it'd be a rough run, but it all turned out fine. Uh, up in the sky, there's something or someone coming at us. Ooh, finally caught up with you two. I was playing, I was flying around this whole area, partner, trying to find our effects when I saw you on this raft. I figured you'd chase down our story, so I flew right on down to help. But uh, where are we? Huh? Hey. What do you think you're doing just barging in here? This place is for flowers and plants, all of them precious. You better watch out. You'll rue the day you trample on any of them. Oh, she's still around. Whoa, who was this? Ever met her before, partner? Unfortunately, yes. Sorry, ma'am. We're just looking for some farm tools that I lent to Princess Zelda a ways back. I promise we won't pick any flowers. Picking them. I'm more worried about you kicking them. Wait a minute. Farm tools? Did you say something about farm tools? Ah. That's right, some farm tools from our stable. I want them back. Ah. Oh, well, that's my fault. I have them. This area is home to Princess Zelda's plant sanctuary. She asked me to take care of this special place with her. She loved these plants and spent a lot of time here, making sure the garden beds were happy homes for them. We meant to return the tools after we finished our work here, ah. but the princess, well, they say she went missing. And all our hard work was ruined when... Oh, the Storm Ruins crashed down. It's been really awful. I've been working so hard since then to try to make it all nice again. Uh... Really, that's what happened. Now that I think about it, I didn't tell the princess how soon I needed her stable's tools back. Uh... As long as they're good condition, it's no problem. I'll just go ahead and take them with me if you're done. Now I feel guilty for some reason. Didn't mean to make you hurry it up. Hmm. All this was about a sanctuary for plants and flowers, huh? Sounds just like our princess to find time to work on a garden alongside folks while restoring Hyrule. Uh. I've tried to make these garden beds as perfect as they were before. It's just so hard on my own. If only someone would help. Ah. Sure, glad to help. Keep the tools a little longer. And here's a tip. Don't overwork the soil. And also, no, that's all I got. Uh, what's with the face? What? You said you'll help. I accept your offer. Wait, I didn't say that. Ma. Well, close enough. So what if you don't say what it, you really think? I won't hold that against you. Now, how about you go work that soil like you said? I'll go tend to the flowers. We'll have this whole garden back in beautiful shape by the time the princess returns. It'll be the pride of Hyrule. Oh, and here's a tip from me. Put your back into it. Ah. <sighs> Can't talk my way out of this one. And she'd uh, probably wreck the tools if she used them wrong. Okay, fine. Seems like I'm up the creek without a paddle here. Or down it. Either way, I'll help. Oh. You can go. I'll stay here. What else have I got to do, right? Ah. Well, seems like we got those facts we wanted and those two worked it all out, I guess. I can't wait to write this up. Our readers love glimpses into the princess's life. Here she was, helping to create a garden. Expect the story in an issue of the paper soon. It'll be a real headline. Mm. We've worked together to chase two of the stories relating to Princess Zelda. Go on and add this to your nest egg, partner. Oh, there's also this. It's from Tracy. Okay, cool. So Hatano Village's dye shop in Nakluda has started up a new service. It has something to do with fabrics. 
I know, I know, I'm basically giving you an extra job by handing over this fabric, but still. The point is that by accepting and making use of it, you can show that you're officially part of the Lucky Clover Gazette. Mm. It would be nice if Tracy handled things a bit more simply, though. Anyway, that's all done. It's always great working with you, partner. I'm off to report back to Tracy. See you around, partner. Okay. Where's Cass? I miss Cass. Wow. There's no time to rest. I need to restore it. Okay. Where's... Just gonna snap this up. Where's the other guy? Oh. There's lots of different things around here. Warm Saflinas. Mighty Thistle. I'm stealing your flowers, but don't worry about it. It's fine. I feel like the other guy should be around here somewhere. The Sundalion, too, huh? I don't see it. Oh, he's right here. I never tried to pick up a farmer's pitchfork before. <sighs> okay, I just wanted to pick it up briefly. Just to get it registered. Fine, whatever. For Princess Solo, I'll work my hardest. Well, that's sweet of you, I guess. Um, I ended up all the way down here. Okay, it's fine. I said I'd help the Korok, so I'll help the Korok. Okay, just testing all that out. I don't know if I'll really keep those as favorites or not. But they're here. Shrine. Okay, um... Sir? Sir? Oh. Customized hey. horse? Oh. Um, I'll see what you can do, I guess. Oh. Hmm. Oh. Wait, can you not customize anything oh. else right now? Hmm. Oh. I guess so. I guess all you can do is add or remove the harness. Little Korok, buddy. Okay, let me try this again. Little Korok, buddy. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. 
see, isn't this much nicer than walking? It's so much nicer, I'll bet. You'll never want to walk anywhere ever again. go! You're here! <laughs> Goodbye! Um, okay, so I just want to travel directly south, pretty much. For a little bit anyways. Don't care about the Colin camp. I'm just traveling. Hello, sir. Have we ever talked to you before? Oh, there you look like someone who enjoys purchasing items. Um, yeah, I've probably talked to you before. Yeah, I've definitely talked to you before. Let me just... Okay, yeah, I've marked this one before. Just wanted to make sure. I also... No obvious Koroks around here. Yep. <laughs> right. Oh, it's you. Okay. You. <laughs> Drop it. Drop it. Drop it. <laughs> Dang straight, it's perfect. Um, okay, that's just a decent healing item and another sleepover ah. ticket. Okay. Goodbye. Alright, Xenoblade, let's get moving. Wait, oh, this is uh, a geoglyph, huh? Okay, then. Let's see what we can find here. This one's like kinda in the forest, so that's nice. Is there any easy way up? Hmm. Maybe I don't need to go up. Maybe I can just find it. Bow down before me. Hm? <laughs> approaching our position. 
It's more than we thought. It's a swarm! There are so many of them. But why would they... Wiped out all the Volduga. How is that possible? <sighs> so brute force will not be enough. The secret stone of the Zona. <laughs> How interesting. Don't give Ganondorf ideas. He doesn't need more ideas. Let's see. Yeah, I guess that one's Mulduga shaped. Couldn't actually see it because it's in the forest and I'm not actually high up. Okay. Okay, just walk out, jeez. There used to be a tower over here. Now there's a well that has gloom coming out of it? Um, does this well go into the abyss? It very well might. Oh my gosh. Look at this tiny little well. Leading into this big old cave. Still water at the bottom though. Thank goodness. It's kind of hard to tell when to pull out paragliders here. Um, okay, this doesn't do anything. Mm-hmm. Over here. Okay, that's a black goblin. Hmm. Are there any landmarks around here? I mean, really, it's just underneath the geoglyph. Better kill this. You don't see me. Please don't see me. Is that the or the black bow coblin? That was the black bow coblin, okay. It's 
sneak, please. We can sneak strike. I wish this was feared to something, but still. People saw me. Never mind. Darn it. Oof. That's a bad hit. I had some water, or, sorry, not water, but wind stuff. Now, I mean, I have some Korok runs, right? Mm. How wide a radius does that give you, though? Pretty decent, actually. I was trying to jump out of the way, but thank you. Please stay away from me. This guy, please. Yes, drop the weapons. direction. Switch to something else. Okay. Okay. No, not that. How about one of these babies? Flop. Oh, that was a black moblin. Uh, I need to drop that back on the ground. Need a picture of it. Thank you. It's a lot of pose over there. That's pretty nice. Some of this. Some of this. Some missed arrows. Moblin stuff still. No camera. And here we go. A black bokoblin horn. Which is propped up by the other materials.
Okay, more Bacaba bats, which is good because I do need those apparently. Um, soldier Spear. Get rid of this. Well, sloppy, but hey, I'm still alive, so not a huge deal, I guess. This is the one I was using. Okay. You drop your weapon. I definitely don't like bows. Stop it. Dragon Bone Bokobo. Twenty four. Um, oh, I'll drop this for that. Pew. Basically, it'd just be nice if I could find one of them glow roots somewhat nearby, and then I'd probably just leave. What is this? say that but it's not as if I've ever actually built something like this before. Definitely don't need that. Okay. Put this on. Is there a steery? Yes there is. There is indeed a steery. It's gonna teeter, especially if I stand up front. I was trying to do. If I stand in the middle, it's probably fine. I'll just completely change my mind about all this. What happens if you stick some fans on a glider? And 
and the the, the, the battery. To be able to get it to take off first, I think. Did poison on the edge or something? Woo! Just nove dies it there. Off, huh? flying where is this it's another camp which is not exactly what i wanted but it is where i ended up mm, kind of in the middle here that's okay that's back towards the Kakariko mine. What's this though? kind of round enemies or something of the like, I feel like. don't really know where I am, I think it's kind of the main thing here. Yeah. There's something. Don't know what. Um, hello. 
Hello. That's a good. It's better than that traveler stuff I kept finding anyway. Stand up. Okay. I had room for that, apparently. Send him out! Uh... Let's try a little closer, then. I guess. What's this? And probably another enemy camp or something. That's definitely an enemy camp. Um, where it came from is a lot higher up than this place. That's for sure. Hey, let's take a stand here. Yeah, toss. Going down, really. Dueling Canyon's mine. Uh, I can't tell what's going on. I think I went into a pit and the tree I was going to was not in the pit. Yeah. Or something. It's a very sheer wall, that's for sure. Mm. Place. There's a building thing here. Are there any yes. rockets? Yes. Take this then. All right. This, thank you. Gonna try and travel up this wall.
Anything, anything at all. Just the darkness, basically. Goodness. Sure, but where am I trying to go? can stand on this art. Put down my pin, but where? Seriously. Ugh, for heaven's sake. I just don't see anything here. What the heck? I like stuck in a canyon or something. I guess. Okay, just toss that up as far as it'll go.
I'd rather not die. So... Oh... <laughs> 